so moved. Uh, we vote. Oh, second. All those in favor, say yay. Aye. Okay. All those uh, opposed, say no. Hearing none, we'll move on to motion C to adopt resolution 2021. Uh, 2021 09 authorizing the ex execution of the first county dispatch agreement. Uh, all those in favor? Move. Second. Yeah. All those in favor? All right. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. So I, I just I'm looking at the figures and I agree. I have the figures for 143,000, 43,000, 43, and, uh, and, and I kind of look at per, per diem what that would cost to run ourselves, like the city of Reading, I guess, does. And I guess this isn't that bad for 24 hour coverage. So I would say, yeah. Well, and I'll also mention that, I mean, these fees have existed, you know, when we pay these fees annually, the county just memorialized it via, you know, a formal agreement now, so all the participants pay municipalities to know what type of increase they're going to get in the past, there was no set system in the basis on CPI, so um, it's just memorializing the, the dispatch fees that we pay. All right, um, we'll call that again. Uh, all those in favor, uh, report saying yay. Yay. All, right. all those uh, opposed, say no. Uh, motion carries. Um, the next one is motion to authorize the Hay Road Apartments letter of credit reduction based on August 16th, 2021 letter from SDE. The amount to be uh, retained is $788,000 uh, for Ninety-two dollars and seventy-six cents. Um, any uh, move comments? Should have a motion first. Move. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll second that. All right. Um, any comments? Concerns? Hearing none. Uh, if all those in favor? All right. Uh, with the yay. Okay. Uh, any against? Hearing none, we'll move on. Um, motion passes. Uh, motion to authorize the township manager to execute the memorandum, memorandum of understanding uh, with the Berks County Planning Commission to prepare joint comprehensive plan. Uh, motion. Second. Uh, any uh, discussion? Yeah, I just, I'd like to comment. Um, again, we've been talking about this for the last couple of months. Um, uh, I, I know there was some concern the came out from within the $40,000 range. Uh, if, if we were looking to have a, a private firm come in, I think we paid in the neighborhood of $50,000 to have a professional firm come up from Monaco. And this was back in 2003. So we are, you know, even though we're spending um, money to have the county help us with this plan. And uh, we are doing uh, the bulwark in-house. Um, you know, it is still a lot less money than if we were to go out and find a private firm who basically would come in and just kind of rubber stamp a couple of things and, and move on. I think the approach that we've been taking is the right approach, um, using uh, in partnership with our, uh, our friends in Marlboro. Um, and I think uh, having the county help direct this you know, keeps us in the loop as far as other plans taking place within the county. So we can only benefit from that. And I think getting public input is extremely important. So, you know, as, as the municipal leadership, you know, we have an eye towards what, what the community would like to see itself develop into over the course of, of the next decade. So I, I, again, I, I know there were some concerns about the, the cost but um, in the long run, we, we save money, and uh, I think we're going to come away with a, a much better product than if we just farm it out to, to somebody else. Yeah, we get our communities and put it that way. 
uh, it was really interesting to look at the, the, the prior plan to see the, the number of things that were in that plan that were accomplished. Uh, and it, it was 80% or so, yeah. something yeah. on what was in that plan. So, you know, the input of the you, the public, is important. Uh, you know, you're living here, so, you know, look, help us uh, direct us for the future. Anything, but all right, we need a motion. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, roll call. Uh, not roll call vote. We'll uh, go with yay. All those in favor say yay. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, opposed? Jerry, none. We're going to move on to motion to authorize public works superintendent to close uh, portions of Beaumont Street uh, for the 2021 St. Marco Festival. Moved. Second. Okay. Uh, any uh, discussion? Hearing none, uh, we'll call uh, all those in favor say yay. Aye. Yeah. All those opposed, hearing none, we'll move on. Uh, motion to approve uh, the minimum municipal obligation of $703,537 and no cents for the uniform uh, pension plan. Moved. Second. Um, discussion? Oh, I just uh, look at the figures and I heard that this is actually uh, $100,000 less than last year, which should be good for our budget, right? Yes. Depends on what I say. We'll see, we'll see what happens there. Right. <laughs> right. Um, all those in favor, uh, say yay. Uh, yeah. All those opposed, hearing none, a motion to motion. Uh, Motion passes. Uh, we're moving to uh, H, motion to approve the uh, minimum municipal obligation of $491,155 in no sense for the uniform, for the non uniform uh, pension plan. So, second. Uh, any discussion? There are none. Uh, call for uh, uh, all those in favor say yay. Yay. Yeah. All those opposed? Motion passes. Um, I we're going to move on to other new business. I have one uh, motion here to bring up uh, for the sinkhole on Oak Street. Uh, through uh, Ward uh, bid to Ringstown excavating for the amount of forty eight thousand dollars for slip lining uh, to repair that pipe. Move. Sorry. Any discussion? Frank, sure. The only thing I'd like to mention is that this is an emergency repair. Uh, we have a failing pipe underneath uh, underneath Oak Street, and we explored a couple of different options. The sinkhole became apparent last year to us. Um, however, the condition of the pipe worsened. We were contemplating doing traditional excavation, but one of the challenges with uh, the area is there's a transect water main uh, that the MTA owns and operates as well as terracotta sewer there. So we made the decision not to do the traditional excavation and go with a lining, uh, well, essentially, you know, re-sleeve the interior of the pipe with a, with a new pipe rather than go in and excavate down to the pipe and install new. Okay, any other comments? All those in favor say yay. Aye. Yeah. All those opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes. Um, on the portion, second level portion. Anybody? Does anybody wish to speak? Okay. Uh, staff comments. Oh, no, all good. All good. Anything? Oh, yeah, just uh, for, for the public, we. I have a new officer that's in the field training program right now. He's doing quite well, Tyler Shoebridge. We've hired two other officers without police experience, and they're currently in the Reading Police Academy. And uh, just generally, I was noting, you know, by your, your police report, some of the more prevalent calls for service that we have we, are domestic disputes and problems and, and arrests. And uh, retail thefts are a big problem for us as well as uh, like credit card fraud and, and white collar crime. So 
detectives and officers are constantly working on those. Um, so the public knows what kind of what kind of things we're experiencing out there. Thank you, Chief. Here and River Fest is next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want to talk more about it, I will steal your thunder. If you don't want to, I'll keep going. Friday, Sunday, well, I don't know thunder. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, food vendors, music, two different stages. Um, good, good times to stop out. Judy Park. That's it. That's all. How many vendors are out there? Oh, how many uh, well, right now we have 65 vendors, 18 of them are food vendors, 20, I think 20 plus are, uh, 18 are entree vendors, 20 plus are more of a snacky food vendors, as we call them. Then there's some crafters and some home-based businesses, things like that. You got a brand new stage this year? We do, the new, new acoustic stage. The new yeah. acoustic stage, you're going to be more lights on? More lights, yeah. yeah. And we've got some, some, some streamlined features. Yeah, the, the trail lights are going to be automatic this year, so. I yeah. want to thank Trisha Reed for the Adirondack trails. Right. We didn't get those yet. Yes, you're right. We didn't get them yet? Not yet. We're we to... got to go. We can have to. Okay. Is there anything, any other new developments you need to tell them about? I don't think so. Is there? Are you sure? That's why I want to to you. You seem like you were going to be able to handle it. You know, that's fine. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> River Fest. 27, 8, 9, Friday 4 to 10, Saturday 10 to 10, Sunday 10 to 7. So uh, if you're not there, shame on you. You'll be kicking yourself for a whole year if you miss this festival. See? Got it. All right. Um, just want to remind the public that the trash mills are due at the end of this month, August 31st. Right. Moving on to Commissioner. Commissioner uh, Welch, Director. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, nice job, Rick. You know, it's, it's hard. You know, it, it, first of all, it's hard you know, to be elected uh, a public official. Uh, you know, a lot of people think they can do it. And you know, I, I've said it many times, you know, when, when you're actually sitting up here and making decisions, you know, they, they are a lot more complicated um, you know, than, than sometimes they seem. And actually sit down and run a meeting uh, till, you, till you do it once or twice, you know, it, it can be difficult, a little challenging. So nice, nice job there. Um, I was at the, uh, the wine and dine the other night. We had a really good turnout. Uh, I'm gonna thank the, the Rotary Club uh, for all they do, uh, all the service work that, that they do for, for the, the township and just people in general. Uh, we had a good time. So I am looking forward to uh, Riverfest. I think it's I think it's gonna be a blast. Uh, it would be nice to be out without it, yeah. Um, so I do come because the uh, planning commission will have uh, a tent set up where the residents can come and interact and, and help us make some determinations on uh, where we what direction we want to take the township uh, as far as our comp plan goes. So a lot of residents are welcome to, to come to Riverfest, stop by. Talk to the planning commission and uh, weigh in on where you'd like to see us in the next few years. They have uh, some interesting information and, and a way to, to take your input. So uh, you all get a chance to come out. Uh, and that's all I have. Thanks for coming out, folks. Commissioner Imbo. I'm going to Steve Bill Hoffman. Uh, Commissioner Walton here. Well, you know, uh, to go along with Riverfest, the Friday night concerts, this year, I think, have been fantastic. Uh, I, I've been to every one of them. Uh, the bands were, were very good. You'll see some of the bands at Riverfest you know, play Friday night. Uh, the attendance, I mean, there were some evenings we had 800 people there. Uh, and actually, I'm surprised we don't have more. Every time I drive out there, I hear the music, I'm thinking, why don't we have more people here? Uh, just like some some of our neighbors don't know what's going on, and it is a good, it's a nice evening. Uh, the uh, the police had had their national night out, which was really well attended, and, and we stayed help police helicopter in, and the kids were really enjoying that. And the police did a very nice job. Parks did a very nice job. It's just it just shows what right we in Millburg I think that 
we get a lot, I think, uh, from our, from, we give a lot to our citizens. Uh, I, and for the people who are attending here tonight, uh, I'm going to put Jim Bobbick on, on the right on the spot here. Uh, I'd like their opinion on the cycle. So why don't you give them a little show as to what, what you think you'd like to do? So there's a blue recycling can over here at the side of the room. Um, it's a it's a sample from a company. Um, we have the option to purchase them. So every every one to two years, but it depends. Whatever the state opens the grant cycle, the township can apply. And we've applied. Um, I've applied in 2014, 16, 18, uh, 20. We'll apply again in 21. We're currently writing an application now. And the application this time uh, will be for new recycling containers. So what Steve's wheeling out, that's a 45 gallon container on wheels with a hinge lid. If you have a recycling container from the township now, it's a 25 gallon bucket with no lid. Um, we have the option to, to use those 45 gallon cans or a size larger is a 65 gallon can. Um, the, the project would be, the, the cans would be fully funded by DEP. And so we don't really know which direction to go yet, but we've kind of been talking about it internally. Um, would you prefer a 45 gallon can, a 65 gallon can? Do you have a place to store a 65 gallon can? It'll be about three times the size of the small bucket that you already have. You know, you're still gonna get, your, your, your recycling service is still gonna be twice a week, depending on which side of the township you live on. It's a Wednesday or a Thursday and a Friday. Um, would you fill more than that in a week? Just for a show of hands, who, who would prefer the 65 gallon container? 65 gallon is going to be about a foot taller than that. It'll be the same dimensions, uh, width, and depth. And who would prefer the 45 gallon? Yeah. Who doesn't care? That's <laughs> <laughs> And it's good to have a width because yeah. we're a problem now. Yep. Put some lid on and everything is pulled That's correct. Yep. Yep. And we don't issue new new lids. We haven't issued new lids in in probably ten years. Uh, we used to give lids when we had them, but yeah, that was the problem. The lids kept blowing off, and so we thought, okay, well, a hinge lid. So even if the container blows over, there's a chance that the lid still traps some of the recyclable material from blowing out. Is there a small smaller model than? Yeah, the next size down would be a 25 gallon, which is what we already have. It's the buckets that we already have with no lids and no wheels. I see four votes for the 45. Yeah, go for the 45. Two votes, yes. Two abstentions. <laughs> one indifferent. <laughs> I'll defer to Fisher. No, Fisher is on? Um, I was going to let this go this month. Uh, you know, there's been a feud between the school district and me, not the board, me. Um, last, I got called out. They sent a, an email to the board of commissioners, and then they sent me a separate copy of the same email. This is the board of the super school board. And then they sent me two emails, 14 minutes apart, from the Financial secretary to the superintendent. They don't want me to say anything, but I want to. I want you to hear what they wrote about me in here, and then compare it with, to what's been taking place in the past. They said the comments that I've made and the comments that I've made are about a the taxes. They put them up two point four percent. Keep in mind, last January of last year. I went to the school board meeting and asked them not to raise the taxes, and they didn't. This year, they raised the taxes 2.4%, even though the school was closed for a year. Even though they got $5.5 million from the federal government, they raised the taxes. They didn't need to do that. But yet, in their letter, they say they respect every resident and taxpayer. <laughs> they say my comments are disparaging. Because if you read the Red Eagle April 29th, 
the rundown of this, the list of schools, the school ranking, Newlandburg School District is 15th out of 18. That's a fact. These are all facts. So let the fact checkers check to it. They're all facts. They said I was rude and offensive. The traumatic rhetoric, what I said was dangerous, potential to incite violence. So facts these days, according to the school district and the school board and the superintendent, are dangerous. So just to give you an idea of what I put up with, I became the school board liaison this past January. I believe it's part of what I'm supposed to do to touch base with the school and then make sure that the public knows what's going on. Incidentally, the school board last November gave the superintendent a new contract, a new four-year contract, but the wages were never divulged uh, according to Ray Eagle. So curious what they might be. We, we know it's over $200,000. Well, the guy runs us into the ground. In any event, uh, just to give you an idea how I was treated, the board member Richard Hoffmaster became visibly angry and walked out on the floor. That's an, a quote right out of Red Eagle at one of the meetings that I went to. Um, so they call in the paper. The superintendent said, stated Red Eagle 313 2020. That my remarks at their school board meeting were toxic comments, distorted agendas, and hate, followed by this outright racism. That's an array of These are all facts. Look them up. So I just, uh, along with this, I'm just going to say this. We all just got these in the mail and they're due at the end of the month with trash bill. Everybody's went up. It didn't need to, but it went up anyway. So I'm simply going to say, speak out in November. I'm done. Commissioner Hancock, um, I'm just going to make a couple comments real quick, and then uh, we'll, we'll uh, wrap things up. Um, personally, I, I find it offensive that the uh, school district sent us a letter. And here's why. They can't seem to take uh, negative criticism uh, from a taxpayer, somebody that that uh, may not have voted their way, but uh, you know deserves the right to speak up. Uh, nonetheless, I find it outrageous. I, now I wasn't there in the meeting, uh, but I'm I'm pretty sure there are lots of people uh, taking notes. I, I I find it outrageous uh, that they classify verbiage that disagrees with them, no matter how coarse or, or terse. Uh, and then and then they they call it, you know, hate or race. They they go right right to, to the lowest of low. Then they waste time. They uh, decide to uh, send certified letters and and waste uh, more um, of everybody's time involved and 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 do nothing to help the situation. Uh, finally, so they will not accept our representative, but their their representative is allowed to come to all of our meetings and speak up and act out. So uh, that's just all I'm going to say about that. I don't think uh, I find the whole situation embarrassing, um, and it doesn't need to be. Um, you know, uh, I, I think it's it's horrible that that you know people that disagree with you are condemned and and you know they, they can't even see see this person anymore. You know, it's just hard. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I think I think uh, you know there are a lot of people that need to to act like adults um, and do the jobs that that we the taxpayers. 
uh, put them in there to do. Um, moving on, uh, everybody should get really excited for Riverfest. Um, I, I think it's a, a bright spot in this community. I think it, it helps uh, bring everybody together and heck, after nearly two years, it'll be a welcome uh, a welcome change and a, a welcome respite. So I want to thank everybody for putting up with me tonight. It's only through a meeting, but we got it. And uh, this is adjourned. Yeah.